Hello dear children, welcome you all back to another wonderful session of amazing world of science and uh, uh, here we learn NCERT line 2, line from classes 8 to 12 focusing more on class 10 and uh, 12 along with that we are also doing classes 9 and 11 and we are yet to start with classes 8 and uh, last year class we were studying about uh, uh, you know uh, is matter around us pure chapter 2 class 9 NCRT and we were discussing about suspension and colloid today we are going to learn how to separate the components of a mixture there are few methods to do that and you should be uh, you know very much thorough about uh, what on what principle is this method based so for exam uh, they will be giving some uh, materials and ask you how they are separated also only if you know the fundamentals or basis you will be able to identify the method with which you can separate these mixtures ok now first we have learned that most of the natural substances they are not pure different methods of separation are used to get individual components from a mixture and uh, you can separate it only if you know the uh, use of the individual components of a mixture and heterogeneous mixtures are separated by simple physical methods like hand picking, sieving, filtration we use day to day life and sometimes uh, you have to use special techniques for the methods of separation. Now suppose how can you obtain color of that is dye from blue black ink. So that we will do one uh, small activity here, uh, you fill half a beaker with water ok then you have to put a wash glass on the mouth of the beaker ok after that put a few drops of ink on the wash glass and slowly start heating the beaker and uh, uh, we do not uh, want to heat the ink directly because uh, you can see evaporation vapors coming out of the wash glass you keep on continuing uh, continue heating and stop heating when you do not uh, see any further change on the wash glass now you observe what is happening ok now you can see that uh, the ink has got evaporated from wash glass and uh, I will be giving you the answers to these questions in another session and uh, you know that ink is a mixture of dye in water. So see uh, we can separate volatile component that is solvent, volatile means what easily changing uh, the capacity to easy, easily change into vapor. So the process by which you separate volatile component from its non volatile solute by the mixture of uh, you know from the mixture by the method of evaporation. So remember the technique of evaporation, what is evaporation? Easily vaporizable uh, or easily volatile solvent can be separated from non volatile solute because see if both are uh, volatile then both will vaporize so, so you won't be able to separate. So one has to be easily uh, uh, you know change, uh, capa having capacity to change into vapor whereas the other should be non volatile. So here a solute is non volatile and solvent is volatile. Now how can you separate cream from milk? You get full cream toned and double toned varieties of milk you know in your uh, you know, shopping and uh, from markets you would have seen all these things and uh, uh, the varieties of milk why there are different varieties it depends upon the amount of fat which is contained in milk. So full fat milk is so much of fat is there ok and toned milk is after removing the fat uh, content you get toned milk. You have to take some full cream milk in a test tube and centrifuge it. Uh, there is a, ma a machine called centrifuging uh, machine that is it rotates uh, very fast when you take the mixture and easily you can separate. Uh, it is not available in school and uh, you can uh, do this at home by using a milk churner and if you have got a milk dairy and uh, you can see there how they mil uh, make paneer from milk and all that. So uh, when you churn it ok sometimes the solid particles in a liquid are very small and pass through a filter paper. So for this you use uh, filtration technique for separation and here uh, for separating milk you use the process of centrifugation easily you can separate it and uh, so uh, such type of mixtures we easily separate by centrifugation. What is the principle of centrifugation that the denser particles are forced to the bottom whereas the light particles stay at the top when you rotate or spin rapidly very fast. So uh, you use this method or uh, uh, mostly in diagnostic laboratories for blood and urine test and in diaries and home to separate butter from cream 
and used in washing machine to squeeze out water from wet clothes. So, these are all the common examples for centrifugation. And uh, how can you separate a mixture of two immiscible liquid that is kerosene and water. You can see what is meant by immiscible. See if you take some water, put some kerosene on top, you, you can see the kerosene spread as a thin film. Okay, uh, so they won't mix uh, together well. That is what we call in immiscible. So uh, you pour the mixture of kerosene oil and water in a. This is a separating funnel. You can see, okay, and keep it undisturbed for some time so that separate layers of see kerosene oil, water. You have got a stop cork here, and uh, after some time you can open the stop cork and you can uh, remove water from inside. Okay, so what are the applications here? to separate mixture of oil and water and uh, if the extra in the extraction of iron from its ore the lighter slag is removed from the top by this method to leave the molten iron at the bottom in the furnace. So, uh, you will learn about the iron extraction and things in higher classes. So, for uh, current uh, just uh, for the time being understand that uh, how will you separate iron from its ore by this method. Uh, like uh, the slag is removed from the top and the molten iron can be removed from the bottom. Okay, and now how can you separate a mixture of salt and ammonium chloride? So, ammonium chloride uh, has a property to directly change from solid to gaseous state when you heat it. So, it is easily sublimable. So, what is meant by sublimation? Uh, the property of changing directly from solid to gas. Okay. So, here what happens is that um, this method is used to separate sublimable volatile component from non sublimable impurity that is non sublimable is salt is non sublimable ok. And uh, here examples of solids which are sublimable are ammonium chloride, camphor, naphthalene, anthracene and all that. See separation of ammonium chloride and water by and uh, salt by sublimation you can see this is a china dish and mixture of ammonium chloride and salt. And you can see vapor of ammonium chloride when you heat it they go up and you can see here solidified ammonium chloride and you keep a funnel inverted and keep a cloth and, uh, cotton plug on top because the vapors will not escape and they uh, you settle somewhere over here from where that they can be collected. Okay. So, since uh, as you as I said earlier uh, salt is not supplementable it will remain here itself whereas uh, so you can get solidified ammonium. Uh, chloride by this process. Uh, so, uh, we have got a little more uh, to finish off from this chapter uh, because I will be going only very slow so that you will be able to easily uh, understand and get the get the concepts clear uh, if I do little by little. As I always say uh, do not just watch uh, the channel and uh, just leave like that do subscribe and share with your friends and uh, do like the channel. And uh, uh, for watching more videos like this, just press the bell icon so that you will get uh, notifications immediately when I post new videos. And that is all for today now. Thanks for watching.